What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Bree. Thank you so much for tuning in to today's video. So as you saw by the title, we are doing our Sephora haul. So Sephora um, has their spring event going on right now, I believe until April 11th. So by the time you see this video, um, of course I've already shopped the sale, but the VIB sale should have started, but it ends for everybody on April 11th. So you will still have time to shop. <laughs> Hopefully some of the things that I got and whatnot. But with, um, before we get started, make sure you like this video, give it a big thumbs up, comment down below if you plan on shopping the sale, what you plan on purchasing, if you plan or if you have any recommendations for me, your girl still got time. <laughs> Recommend some stuff to me. Um, and then or also subscribe to my channel so you can become a BFF. BFF does stand for beauty and fashion finds, but I feel like y'all are my BFFs. So <laughs> make sure you're subscribed so you don't ever miss any videos from me. Um, but you know what? Let's go ahead and get started because I know why y'all came. Y'all want to see what Brie Brie got in her Sephora haul. So let's get started. All right. So I didn't get too, too much. Um, I only got six items. <laughs> so yeah. So um, I know when I previously did a haul on my channel, I probably will have it linked up below. Um, this was in fall of last year. I had a pretty big haul because I did get a lot of gift cards for uh, my birthday. So I was able to you know, spend a little bit more and stuff, but now we, we was limited this year. <laughs> so yeah, so, but there wasn't really too much that I really, really needed, but there were a couple of things that I had my eye on. So I will say, always keep a wish list on any of the places that you shop if you are able to, um, because then when you do either get, you know, a little extra funds to spend, get a gift card or something, you kind of know like, okay, this is something that I've been eyeing. Um, I haven't gotten it yet, but I know it's something that I want. So for me, I was able to scroll through my favorites on Sephora's website to see like, okay, what's been on my favorites for a while that I want to go ahead and get and, you know, either splurge on or just go ahead and get. So yeah, so first things first that's sticking out to me, necessary. So finally got my hands on the body serum. So I have actually used their body wash. I really did like it. Um, I think I tried, it wasn't eucalyptus. Was it eucalyptus? It was one of their body wash. I really liked it. I used it at nighttime and stuff. So it was good. I really, um, of course I keep saying it. I really liked it. <laughs> um, very clean. Um, that is one of their, um, big parts of their brand is it is a clean brand. Um, so yeah, so I was like, okay, let me try the body serum. I've heard quite a people talk about it. And honestly, everything that's probably going to be in here, somebody has mentioned it, talked about it, <laughs> or, you know, said something about it of some sort. So yeah, so love the packaging. It is very clean and simple. Um, so yeah, so body serum. So this is something that you can use um, after you've gotten out of the shower, of course, dried off. So you use this before you put on lotion, um, but it is a daily hyaluronic acid treatment for the skin. So you apply all over the body um, or in areas where increased hydration is needed, um, follow or mix with moisturizer. So you can put this or put this in your hand and then put your body moisturizer in with it and then rub it all over your body. So yeah, so um, this is fragrance free. Most of their products are going to be fragrance free. I've tried their lotion. I did like their lotion as well, but I do like to have some kind of scent when it comes to my moisturizer. So yeah, so um, I wouldn't not, not try the um, body lotion again, but um, it is something where I'm like, okay, I need to be mixing it with a perfume of something or some sort. So yeah, so I'm definitely very excited to try this. And I was happy that it was in store because sometimes um, the necessary products, I don't believe um, Sephora ever had it like physically in the store. I think they're starting to do that now. So okay, let's try this. All right, so next up I got is the Killian Paris. So I've heard a lot of people talk about the Killian fragrances um, and I wasn't sure which one I wanted to get. So I saw Sephora actually had um, little mini samples of each one. Now, I'm kind of cringing at this, y'all. This little cardboard, this little, pouch, this little pouch was $30. And I was like, of course, that's with the sale. So, you know, you kind of justify or whatever and stuff. But I was just like, Brie, you really, <laughs> you really spent your money on this? But yeah, <laughs> so, um, but I've been wanting to try it. And their perfume is kind of pricey. So I'm like, you know what? Before I actually spend some real coinage <laughs> on the perfume, let me see if I actually like it. Because, you know, a lot of things, you know, a lot of people mention like, oh, I love it. And then you think you're going to like it. And then you're like, oh, <laughs> so yeah so it came with five of the um perfumes so yeah so i can't wait to try this i don't know if i'll get to try them today um i am in the mid middle of filming my weekend vlog y'all so um make sure you stay tuned for that because i'm pretty sure this video is going to go up before that vlog um so if you see me in the same outfit that's why um but yeah so anyways um i picked all i did online shopping for my sephora order and whatnot so i mentioned that in the vlog but anyways 
Um, I was like, I don't want to try this, so I didn't get to put this on today because I didn't have time to really see like which one. Um, but I believe, let me see if it has all the names of the scents. Okay, so Moonlight in Heaven, I hadn't heard of that one. Good Girl Gone Bad. Love Don't Be Shy is the one that I've really heard a lot of people talk about. Um, Straight to Heaven and then Black Phantom. So ooh, these sound good. I need to look up the perfume notes um, to see kind of like what all they all are and whatnot. But I was like, okay, these is, these is cute. It's cute, but you got five of them. So I'm like, okay, that's good for at least like a couple. I feel like a, ooh, maybe more than that. Like a few wears out of this. So I see why they kind of charge for it because the travel size spray bottle is like $40 or so, I believe and stuff. And then the actual like perfume bottle is like 100, maybe 200 plus and stuff. So yeah, so I was like, okay, this time while it's on sale, let me go ahead and try it. So this is the other item. All right, so this item I didn't order online, but I was when I got in the store, I was like, let me get this, y'all. I have to get another pencil sharpener for like my uh, lip liners and stuff because I have my morphing one and it just kept falling apart and I kept putting that together and it finally got to the part where, or the point where it fell apart and I could not put it back together. So I ended up getting one by NARS. I heard this one's really good. So hopefully it stays because all of the pencil sharpeners I feel like I've gotten, they all fall apart. And I'm like, if you have one, I feel like we, most people have said this one is really good. It's only six, seven, seven bucks. Seven or six dollars, y'all. So of course I got 20% off of that because girls a Rouge member. So yeah, because of y'all. <laughs> I feel like I can blame y'all for being a Rouge member and whatnot. So yeah, so I went ahead and when I got in the store to pick up my online order, I snagged this. So yeah, so hopefully this one stays put. And then I also got, which I am wearing right now, got my hands on the Makeup Forever. This is the HD Skin um, Foundation or but it's the HD Skin Undetectable Stay True Foundation. So I was a little nervous, um, and I do have like a little bit of shine and whatnot, as you can see. Um, I've had this makeup on for about four hours now, maybe five and stuff, cause yeah, we left, I started getting ready at about 11.30 today, and it is now almost 4.30. Oh so yeah, you do that. <laughs> but anyway, um, so I do kinda, I feel like it's a good like glow. It's not like the, oily to the point of like, okay, girl, we need to touch up. Like I am gonna touch up because if you will see my weekend vlog, I am going to a concert tonight. So I'm gonna touch up my face a little bit, but so far so good. I was a little worried about the color because your girl got a tan, but I feel like it's not, I'm just holding my hands up. It's not too far off from like where you see my neck. It's a smidge off. So I might still go back to Sephora to see if this is the right shade for me. I've only used this one time and I feel like Sephora is good about exchanging colors and stuff if you don't use it like completely or whatever. I only used the one time today, used a couple pumps in. Yeah, so I feel like it's a good shade for me um, once I kind of lighten up and stuff. But yeah, this is my new color <laughs> and whatnot. Um, but I feel like it's not too drastic of a change. But loved how it went on. Kind of had like, um, it has a scent to it. It smelled, it, I feel like it smelled like paint at first, but then it just seemed like it had a fragrance to it. So it's not terrible, but it definitely had a scent to it. But I wanted to do kind of like a wear test to see, to, you know, show y'all. So when I do actually do a review on this for you guys, I can really give the true test. Like I said, it's my first day wearing it. So y'all are kind of getting a little bit of a, a little sneak peek <laughs> of, you know, how it wears and stuff. So yeah, so this is um, the bottle, love the packaging. I got shade 4Y66. Um, so yes, yeah, so like I said, Full coverage and of course I do have on concealer powders all that good stuff I said everything and whatnot so yeah so love how it went on but definitely going to possibly see if I go back in the store and get shade match make sure this is the correct shade but so far I really do like this foundation all right so next up I got some more toner so I've heard people mention this one this is the um Freck Beauty yes Freck Beauty this is their cactus water cleansing lactic acid toner so yeah so heard a couple of people excuse me, excuse me can i talk today y'all <laughs> heard a couple of people mention this and i was like okay i'm almost out of my fresh beauty toner like we only got a few more sprays left so i was like let me try this so be careful if you do purchase this or order it online it's glass um so i know one person that i heard mention it they ordered online and it broke in during shipping or whatever so yeah you can only imagine what the box looked like. Cause this is a big bottle. I believe this is 6.5 fluid ounces. So it's good, but it is, it's all glass. <laughs> so yeah, so happy to try this. I'll have to report back if I know how to open it, y'all. Um, <laughs> <the same. laughs> um, yeah, looks like water, acts like water, but you know, it's so much more. Cactus water combines lactic acid with the rainbow of vegetable and plant extracts to balance and promote evenness in your skin. My drop. That's literally what it says, my drop. Um, immediately after cleansing, saturate a cotton around and smooth over face, neck, and chest. 
So yeah, so happy to try this. They are a cruelty, cruelty free and vegan company. They do not test on animals and they're free of, I'm not even gonna mention all this stuff. So yeah, <laughs> it's free of a lot of things that you usually hear. So yeah, so, okay y'all, I gotta figure out how to open this bottle. Okay, might have to call in reinforcements cause yeah, I don't know how to get this bottle open. <laughs> I don't see, it looks like it has like a pump on it, you know, cause that's the other thing I was worried about since it has the lid, I'm like, hopefully, it, um. It uh, has a way to get off. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna have to ask my husband to open this. Yeah, we're gonna have to have him open this. I'll show y'all the next product and then I'll show y'all what it actually looks like by the end of the video. So yeah, I'm mean, gonna have to try this. All right, y'all, we got the bottle open. My husband just was like, doop, and I was like, of course. Um, but yeah, so comes right off, but it does have like a little safety seal on it. So hopefully y'all can see that. So yeah, so you just pour it right into a cotton round. So like I said, happy to try this, but I definitely wanted to show y'all <laughs> how it opens and stuff before you go out and buy it and be struggling like me. So yeah, the last product, this was more of an impulse buy. Now that I'm putting next to my face, I feel like, well, no, okay, I take it back. I tried it on the store, it worked, but just putting it right here, it looks like it's dark. Kind of, well, I don't know, putting it next to my skin, minus the shirt. Anyways, <laughs> um, so this is the Sephora Best Skin Ever Foundation. I've heard really good things about this and it is very affordable. So it normally retails for $20, but um, during this spring sale that they have going on, Sephora collection products, you get 30% off instead of like the 20% off, 15% off, depending on what status that you are. Um, so yeah, so I heard people talk about this. So I shade matched it myself <laughs> um, on like the part of like the, like my jaw kind of right over here and it literally looked like skin. <laughs> so that's why it says best skin ever. So I know it's looking real chocolatey right now, but I'm pretty sure it should match. Once again, if it doesn't, I would definitely take it back to Sephora and trade it out. I feel like they're really good about that, especially if you buy something online and come back and you're just like, this is not the shade for me. So yeah, so I got it in 55 in, um, but yeah, so I've just been wanting to try it. So I'm like, you know what? Now it's time to get it, it's on sale. Girl, go for it. So yeah, so those are pretty much all the products that I got. All right, y'all, so that wraps up today's video. Like I said, short and sweet. I didn't get too many items during the spring event, so maybe hopefully during the fall, um, we can get a little bit more. Hopefully there's some more um, like new products. I know I wanna get my hands eventually on a Pat McGrath um, eyeshadow palette, um, but this go around, I was kind of like, eh, and I kind of, or not kind of, I had just recently bought um, a Juvia's Place palette, and then I had also bought, I think maybe like one or two, no, just one other makeup or eyeshadow palettes too, so I was like, I don't really need more <laughs> eyeshadow palettes and stuff. But that is um, next up on the hit list is a Pat McGrath eyeshadow palette and whatnot because I've heard good things. But yeah, so that was pretty much all the stuff that I got. I hope you enjoyed today's video. So make sure you shop the sale. Comment down below what all that you purchased or what you plan to purchase, like I said. We love to hear and I love to hear recommendations, of course. But yeah, make sure you are subscribed to my channel so you don't ever miss any videos. And until next time, I will see y'all on the next video. Bye.